You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike and today I have a really fun haul. I've been waiting for this for a few days. Actually, it's shipped pretty quickly, but uh, I just got in the house. This is a nice box from Yoseka. Uh, and I, uh, I opened this a little bit on my live stream, which is on uh, Twitch, as you can see right here. I do those on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays from like noon to two right now. And then uh, I have a live stream on Fridays, if you don't know about those, from uh, 5 p.m. Eastern on to like 6.30 or so. So check me out there. But also, um, thanks very much to my patrons for giving me the kind of cash that we, I use to get all kinds of cool stuff from Yoseka and share it with you and show you and all that jazz. So let's get into this box. Uh, I really like, I really like what they do with their packing. I think it's a lot of fun. Let's do this one because it's outside the box already. Uh, this is one that I pulled out on the stream because I wanted to see how it works. So I have tried this out and I'm sure I'll be making a video about it specifically uh, soon. This is one of the new Sailor Hokoro dip pens. Hokoro? Hokoro. I'm going to try to roll that R a little bit. Uh, dip pens and this is the 2.0 millimeter because I wanted to get one that had the feed that comes with this and uh, you can see there's all kinds of all kinds of uh, information here on the back. Let's see if I can get this open again. There we go. This pin is smaller than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it is it is pretty small. You can see there's a little bit of a little bit more information and packing stuff in there. But this is a pretty small pin, um, and I was expecting it kind of to be bigger. But I have pretty big hands. Let's see what do I have that's close here. Here's a Twisby uh, Twisby Go. So you can see it's smaller than a Twisby Go. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, it seems a vanishing point. Smaller than a vanishing point. Like it's a, it's a pretty small pen. It was a little smaller than I was expecting it to be. It's fine. It's just you know kind of little. It's got a little bit of a waist, which is nice. It has a flat side here, so it won't roll away when you set it down. And then this part right here is actually the nib, which you can protect by inserting it backwards into the uh, the housing here. And then you just put it back in like this. You want to match up those flat sides, and it goes snap and clicks in, which is very nice. Then the nib looks like this, and it is actually a pretty sharp 2.0, and it's also a little bit flexible. Um, when I was writing with it, I was noticing that I would, uh, you know, I could feel it on the page a little bit. It's not like actually on my fingernail, it doesn't feel that flexible, but on the page, it kind of did. This right here is the feed, and you can take this off. You just kind of grab these little bits right here. You can see it separates and get some contrast. See it separates from the housing and you can kind of pull it, like wiggle it off. Now, all except for the 2.0 and the Fude will come without the feed and you just kind of dip it in the ink and, and away you go. But this feed actually does an extremely good job of trapping some ink and holding it near the nib where it can be accessed and not letting it just fall off the nib as uh, you know will happen if you're not doing that. And then to put it back in, you can kind of go like this and just kind of give it a little press and a slide. It snaps into the heart-shaped breather hole right here, and uh, there you go. So uh, it's pretty easy to take on and off, and you can get the feeds and the nibs on their own when they're in stock. They're all out of stock at the moment. Let me show you what I what I scribbled with it early. So this is how it scribbles. Without the feed, it ran out pretty quickly. Like uh, after <laughs> a bunch of it fell off on the S on the first try. And then it kind of just like progressively got lighter and lighter and it was really running out of ink by the O in Hokoro. But uh, with the feed, I, I wrote this much and then it kind of kept going. And then right here, it just went and it was done. Like it was just kind of totally done there. Uh, but you can see it does have a very nice variation between wide and uh, very thin strokes because of that pretty, uh, pretty severe italic it's got going on. And I found that I'm gonna need to actually pay attention to how I'm holding this pen at least with this nib, because you can see like right here, it did a little bit of railroading. And I think what happened there was that I, I, I twisted the pen nib just a little bit so it wasn't perfectly on the page. And so I only got a little bit of that. So you get a little bit of railroading effect. And a little bit here on the top of the T as well. And a few other places. You got a couple of phantom lines on these Fs. So I think this is a nib that you're going to have to pay attention to if you get the uh, the 2.0. But I imagine with anything smaller, it's going to write much differently. And I'm going to try to get those nibs when they come out. They are not currently available because they're uh, they're all sold out because these are way too popular. So there you go. That's the the Sailor Hakuro, and it's a pretty cool little thing. This is 17 bucks at Yoseka. Pop it right in. It's got a nice snap. Let me give you a little bit of. It's a little bit of snap. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And you get this little thing you just throw in your bag. 
pretty handy. I like that. So more durable, I think, than a, a glass pen, but maybe less convenient for doing inks, like ink swatches and like changing inks a lot because when you swish it off, it will capture water as well uh, and that sort of thing. So it's it's if you're going to be writing something with one ink, I think this is great or doing some drawing or whatever. But I think if you're switching inks and just doing like ink swatch cards uh, like these, maybe this just isn't the right tool for the job. And that's totally fine. Maybe the fine nibs would be, but we'll have to see what, what those are when I get my hands on them. So Sailor Okuro Dip Pen, pretty cool. And let's get into this little bag. There are several things. I had this little bag. This is what the uh, the dip pen was in originally. They have it closed with this very nice washi tape. Also, how fun is that washi tape? I love that. It's got a very vintagey feel f f to it. It looks like it goes great with this craft paper bag. Uh, we have here a uh, little thank you card for using Yoseka. There's the Yoseka crew there. And we have some highlights. They have a really nice YouTube channel that I would suggest checking out. It's a good YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for that. And uh, yeah, sincerely, Daisy. Also, Daisy throws in when she... And they probably all do, but mine of all, I think, been from Daisy. Oh, no, this was from Christine. Uh, hi, Mike. Thanks for ordering with us again, as always. Happy new pen day. It is indeed. I haven't had a chance to try out the Pilot Explorer, but let me know how you like it. Enjoy and talk soon, Christine. That's really very nice of them to include those. Also, great penmanship. And this is a good little card. Like, I wonder what pen she's using to write that, because it writes really nicely. Not even a little bit of uh, bleed through or anything. This is... That's good. I, that makes me happy. It looks like it was printed, you know? So you've already been spoiled. There will be a Pilot Explorer later on, which I picked up because I hadn't seen one before. Okay, so this is something that I absolutely had to grab because, uh, look, I need more washing tape, right? You have seen that I don't have any washi tape. I am horribly running out. This is a $5 uh, thing of washi tape. This is BGM washi tape, sea green marble. Let me get in here. I saw this sort of at the end, of, right before I submitted my order, I think. And I was like, I, I simply have to have this. Oh, come on. How am I not getting this? All right, tweezers to the rescue. There we go. <laughs> this kept slipping. All right. Look at this. Look at this mar at this at this washi tape. Where's the where's the start? There it is. Give it a little bit of a Let's pull this here. Look at that. That is that is gorgeous washi tape. I love it. So, totally worth 5 bucks. For this washi tape. Now, can I get it back on the roll perfectly? Oh, it is. It's going really well, actually. Boom. Done. Yeah, I'm going to use the heck out of this. It looks like it's actually a lot of washi tape. This is five meters. That'll keep me busy for a little while. I usually use it like a page length or a page width at a time. So, really going to enjoy that. That's good stuff. Uh, also in here, we have... Oh, these little suckers. I could not not buy these, frankly. These are Sticky Memo Film Index Notes Zoo from Midori. I love Midori stuff. They have great things. And these are just, just to, oh, they pop up from the other side. Oh, that's awesome. So you can put them on a page to mark a page for you or where you are in your book or your notebook or whatever. And so you fold it in half, so you have like a little rhinosaurus, or a harafa, or a monkey, or a panda bear hanging off the side of your your notebook, and and I love this. This is five fifty uh, for forty eight of these tabs, twelve each of those designs, and uh, man, that is as far as I can uh, discern, that was money well spent. Good job, Mike. <laughs> I love it already. They're amazing. All right, what else do we have in here? Uh, ah, oh, something extra. What's this? Ah, Yoseka stickers. Nice. Those will go on my notebooks. I use those. I like those stickers. Sometimes I get stickers and I give them away, but these I just like stick on stuff uh, because I really dig Yoseka. I think they do a good job. All right, so this is something I thought would be really interesting, and uh, I hope I'm right, but I hadn't seen anything like this before. This is a Pilot Friction stamp. Let me get a new page here. Uh, this is, by the way, a um, uh, Moramon Nimasini notebook like this. A5, this is like a landscape one, and I think this is pretty great. I got this at the Philly Pen Show. So this is a Pilot Friction stamp, and it has a little like rubbery bit here on the edge to, uh, to, to erase with. How does this open? It says, I probably have to peel off this thing. Let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I don't want to peel off the whole thing. Well, all right, we're going to peel off the whole thing. So you open this. And bam, stamp. I wonder if there's any information here I need to know. 
Looks like it's got a package. Oh, oh, that's what the stamp is. It's a little package. Okay, so let's stamp it. Stamp. Stamp, stamp. All right, that was fun. That's a fun stamp. Fun stamp experience. All right, so let's uh, see if it erases well. That's pretty cool. It erases pretty well. It's a little weird because it's a little weird about figuring out where to to use it. These erase with heat technically, so I'm, I keep wiping it away because I'm used to wiping away like pencil dust or something. But they wipe, they erase with heat, and that erased pretty fully. Like there's a little bit left, but not too much. That's pretty good. Oh, these smeared. Oh, it probably hadn't dried on this paper quite. This paper is like bled through just a tiny bit. This paper is pretty well coated, and so I guess it just hadn't quite dried. I wonder if it would erase better if it after it was dried. Let me see if I can remember to come back and try that again later after we're finished doing some of this. And then I grabbed uh, two stamps because uh, these are two stamp pads, rather. These look like they're going to be pretty good. These are um, Sachi Hata oil-based mini ink pad in two different colors, lapis lazuli and decayed leaf. Guess which one's which? This is decayed leaf. And I did I buy it because of the name? Like, kind of, maybe. Let me grab a stamp so I can try that out. Okay, so I'm going to try this out with a uh, pretty tall stamp and put some on the top and some on the bottom. Uh, so we'll have both colors in one stamp. That's my current plan. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So I'm not going to do this perfectly. I'm just going to try to get like both of them on there. Let's see how it goes. I've never used an oil-based stamp, I don't think, or a stamp pad. All right, look, that worked, worked really well, actually. There is, of course, a missing area there, and that's just sort of the dead space in between the stamps. But I didn't want to risk contaminating them, and I didn't want to be particularly careful. But you can see a little bit of the blue on there. You can't really see the decayed leaf one, but uh, will it do a second? Let's see how it goes. Uh, kind of a second. It's really pale on that second one. So this first one, though, looks really good. That blue is very nice looking. Good crisp lines. I really like the color of that decayed leaf. That makes me happy. Uh, I hope it says... Yeah, it didn't bleed through, really. You can see a little show through, but no real bleed. Sometimes stamp pads will bleed through. Does it have the name on these? Oh, it doesn't. I'm just going to have to remember. All right. So pretty neat. I'm enjoying that. I think this is going to be... That's good. That's a good stamp. Okay, nice. Good stamp pads. Also, this stamp is from Well-Appointed Desk. My friend Anna sells these over at Well-Appointed Desk. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. We'll see if I can. Okay. Next in the box here. Uh, let's get in this. I don't know what this is going to be. I haven't unwrapped these. I think they're wrapped up like little gifts. Oh, Kakamori. Okay, I know what this is. So they had two inks on the uh, on their site that were Kakamori inks. And I don't have any Kakamori inks yet. And so I wanted to try this. This is a an exclusive ink for Yoseka from Kakamori, which is called Hello. There were two of these. There's Hello and... Actually, they're on here. Hello and Try Me. And I think that's that's pretty great. Uh, this is a very nice little box, actually. What does this say? It says, hello. Fun. Uh, hello, and welcome to Yoseka Stationery. Our brick storefront is what first greets you as you make your way to our shop. We hope you'll enjoy your time here and find something that inspires you. That's a great little great little message. I dig it. And then this is the ink. I, <laughs> I looked at this and was like, I have to have this. Look at this awesome bottle. It's like uh, got an offset top. It says Kakamori, made in Japan on the bottom. And the ink is just such a weird, murky, brownish color here. I want to say, yeah, this is waterproof pigment ink, and I am looking forward to this. Let me grab an ink swatch card. All right, so I have these little ink cards. Uh, I forget where I got this. Maybe I got this at, at uh, Yoseka as well. This is um, from Kemeterior. I'm not really very familiar with that one, but I am excited to give this a try. Okay, so I don't I don't know if I need to shake this or not. Let me give it a little bit of a shake anyway, because it couldn't hurt. But sometimes the pigment ink will settle just a little bit. You know, this is a um, this is a fountain pen friendly ink. Although it says on the site here, pigment ink has a tendency to solidify and clog nibs once dry, so upkeep is required through daily writing and regular washing of the pen. I haven't really had any issues with uh, any of these pigmented inks, although I haven't used Kakamori, so I don't know for sure, but I use pigmented inks a lot, and I've never had an issue with them clogging a pen or anything. It's one of those things that, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. It's one of those things that can definitely happen in theory. I don't know about in practice, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to give them an exclamation mark, even though they don't uh, have one on the, on the bottle. I feel like if they're saying hello and welcome to our store, they're going to be 
expressive about it. You can see glass pens really can carry a bunch of ink for you. Okay, let's try this. Get a little swatch action here. Oh, this is this is muddy and gross, and I love it immediately. Oh, is it bleeding through my swatch card? I'm not familiar with these swatch cards, so we'll see how it goes. I've only used them a few times. I have here a Kainoto um, Nuribairo and Ancient Charm a Faithless Husband. Uh, let's see how to how to go with this. Uh, yeah, a little bit of weird bleed through here. You get that on some of these uh, really thick cards. But yeah, really nice. Also, this has blotter paper in the cover. So if you just want to close it, you can just close it and blot. it blots itself. Auto blotting. Amazing. But that looks great. It's, it's kind of a muddy, bricky, maroon color. That's going to go directly in a pen for sure. I love it. Ah. Yeah, this is not a cheap ink. It was 30 bucks for this bottle, uh, which is a 35 mil bottle. But... Uh, for a Japan-made exclusive ink in a cool bottle with an unusual color. I think it's worth it. All right, I'll fight with closing that later. We don't want to waste too much time on that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 I'm excited. All right, next up in here, we have these little notes, and this is a Yoseka note writing pad. This was seven bucks, and it's 150 sheets, 50 blank, 50 dot, and 50 grid, and these are... These look really interesting on the site, and I guess they use them for writing some of their notes and stuff in the store. Let me just give this a little score. There we go. And uh, let's get in here. All right. I wonder if are all the fronts the same? All right. We're just going to have to take the whole thing out of the pack. I'll deal with... Oh, oh, they're glue bound. Oh, oh I didn't even think about that. Okay, very nice. So... Uh, nice little brick storefront thing on the front. The back is blank. These are all blank ones. Uh, then we get into dot ones. Oh. Oh, interesting. So the blank ones have a storefront. Uh, oh, so is that one of the covers? What do we have here? Blank, dot, and grid. All right, so the blank ones have the storefront. That's great. Uh, the dot ones, I think, are just dots. Yeah, the dot ones are just little dot cards. Just little note card size thing, and these are just graph. Okay, well I do kind of wish that they were double-sided printed and you had this on all of them. I think that would have been awesome, but uh, you know, still cool. Let's, um, let's try one of these. Should I just try one in the middle? Yeah, I'm gonna try one in the middle, I'm a rebel. Can't stop me, okay. Um, let's give it a couple of things. Um, let's use let's use this. This is a big food nib with my new ink, Buraje from Pannonia. Very nice. It feels good to write on. I like that a lot. And then let's um, let's use something real fine. So this is just a fine Yovo in a shown design um, Smoltum pen. All right. That all feels very good. I like the texture of these cards. There is a little bit of a texture to them. They're not perfectly smooth, but they do feel really nice. Also, I really like how the dots kind of show through the ink. I think that's really neat, and it gives it a little bit of a pop. Uh, yeah, that's... Let's see if my... Let's see if I got any shimmer. Yeah, a little bit of shimmer in there, too. I put a little shimmer in my Barahe. You can see the Athena is not quite dry yet, so do give this a little bit of time to dry. Interestingly, it's making the Athena look green here at the edges. And Athena is a gray but mostly black ink, but it's coming off kind of kind of green. That's cool. Let's try let's try something else real quick and then we'll move on. This is one of the Sailor Yuromiku inks that I've just put in this pen. Let's kind of see what that does. Yeah, you can see it's changing colors already. It's not changing colors as much as it has on some other papers. This uh, on a lot of other papers will turn into just like a bronze. It'll go from a blue-black to a bronze, and it looks like it's kind of staying blue-black mostly, but it's just hints. That's interesting. This is a cool paper. I'm digging it. No bleed-through on the back, even with a big Fude nib laying down a bunch of ink. Uh, these are great. So definitely uh, definitely a little bit pricey for note cards, I guess, at 7 bucks for 150 sheets, but uh, glue-bound different and different rulings. I love this illustration. I wish it was on all of them. Uh, but yeah, this is that's good. That's a really good job. All right, cool. Dig it. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Let's do this one. This is that pilot explorer that uh, I saw and the explorer was one that I wasn't really sure I was going to grab an explorer 
because I just, I mean, I don't know, it looks fine, but it is, uh, you know, uh, I've got some pens in this range from Pilot, like the Metropolitan or um, MR Metropolitans and that sort of thing. So this is the Use and Care Guide. You see they have a, a Metropolitan on there. I think using ink cartridges and stuff. I actually don't know. Yeah, it comes with the it comes with a squeeze converter. How about that? And a cartridge. Let's get this out of here. I've never really seen an Explorer up close much. All right, so this has a nice metal clip. I wasn't expecting this clip to be as nice as it, as it is. The sort of matte. Oh, it's not sort of the matte metal finishes here. Is this metal? Hmm. I think this is plastic. Actually, this clip is for sure metal. I think this is plastic. Yeah, these are plastic, and then the clip is metal. But the matte black is actually really nice against all this uh, this clear and chrome we've got going on here. Uncapping it, you do have the same sort of nib that you get in things like the Kakuno and the uh, the MR. This one says Pilot Super Quality Japan, which is a little bit different from my other uh, nibs that look like this. But same kind of feed, same kind of nib, and this is a fine. I think they only had fines. This is going to be a very fine nib for sure. And then there's a little squeeze converter. I don't love the squeeze converter, but uh, you know it'll it'll totally work in a pinch. I think it's like the least good, the least good of their converters, perhaps. But uh, yeah, not bad. And actually, the chrome bits, <laughs> the metal bits on here do I think set off with the rest of the metal bits on this pen. Let's kind of see how it feels. Yeah, it's going to be very fine, but it feels nice. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's a very light pen, kind of a classic looking pen, I think. Yeah, looks nice. Looks nice. Reminds me of the uh, the Pilot Visions and that sort of thing. Is it what they're called? Um, ah, that's not quite right. There's another. What is it called? Mm, I'm not going to come over that online or on on stream here, but uh, have this like hole up the top. Yeah, this is pretty nice. All right, yeah, we'll definitely give this a try. Uh, 25 bucks for this pen, so not the cheapest thing uh, around, but not bad. It's definitely in the same range as like the Magnum and some and the uh, the MR and some other pens of this type. So yeah, it looks pretty cool and it looks classy. It's a good looking pen. I like it. I like it. All right, good. I think that was a I think that was a good purchase. I think I'm gonna like that. All right. Certainly, we'll be seeing a video on this in the not too distant future. Uh, and then let's see what else we have left. I think the only thing is left is this little package right here, and this little package. Uh, this has a lot of stuff in it, <laughs> frankly. This is, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it off, rip it open. This is a bunch of inks. It's actually an ink sample set. Look at these cute little ink samples. I love them all. Uh, this is pretty great. And this is an ink sample set of their entire Yoseka Ceramics samples, uh, ceramics set. I have one of these. These are from Ink Institute, and I think these are pretty great. I uh, have really been liking uh, using the one I have, which is the Tangmise Blue. These are little samples. They are three mils a piece. It's a pretty classy way to do it. Um, usually I just use these uh, these vials, which are pretty darn good. I, there's no nothing wrong with these vials, but these little bottles are real cute. And you can return these. I think if you return, yeah, return your 10 empty bottles and your next ink sample is on them. So if you use up your samples, you can return them and uh, get a, you know, get a free sample. So we have here uh, Yanji Blue. I am not going to get these names right, and I really apologize. Um, Ming Kong Kuei? Ming Kong Kuei? Ming Kong Kuei? Maybe? Which is also says blue. Uh, King uh, Queen Yangzi, red. And we've got Queen Shan Hu, red. Oh. Tang Mei Say Blue, which is actually a green. I've been using this in a couple of pens already, and I really like this. It really kind of spurred me on to get the rest. Uh, Ming Yellow, Song Black. And Queen Purple. Um, let me just do. I'm just gonna do real quick swatches of these. Uh, and uh, I'll do it in like super fast motion, but like, you know, hang out. I want to do these. They have a little plastic cover over the top so they can't leak. Well, that's cute. Oh. 
Okay, so a couple of things I've discovered. One is those little lids, while they are very cool and keep the ink in place, when you peel them off, they will kind of splatter on your fingers a little bit. So just be aware of that, or I don't know, use tweezers or something, because I didn't actually see that one sheening on my fingernail a little bit. That's neat. Uh, but that's how my fingers get to looking like this, by playing with ink. So this is what this, uh, this set looks like. Up there at the top, we have this uh, Queen Shan Hu red, which is a really nice red. Actually kind of reminds me of that Kakamori we just looked at over here. Uh, the Kakamori is definitely a lot darker. I got that wrong. But whatever, both are beautiful. Then look at that one. That one's called uh, Queen Yan Ji Red. And man, that is a bright color. That is a pink for sure. Then we have Ming Kong Q, Ming Kong Q Blue, which is a really nice bright blue. A little bit of sheen on that one. A little bit of everything. That looks great. This one is the Black song black which is a really actually it looks kind of brownish i'm really digging that one then we have here this blue which is yanji blue really good dark blue nice little bit of sheen it's probably what's sheening on my finger and then uh king queen purple king purple i do not i'm sorry i don't know and uh so that's a that's it's really nice looking purple look how look how grapey and delicious that looks that looks real good actually kind of uh, mine's lighter, <laughs> but it's on the same track. Then we have the yellow, which I'm, I was dubious about this when I first put it down. I'm like, nobody's gonna be able to read that, but it darkened nicely. Uh, Ming yellow, that looks like it's gonna be kind of cool. And then the one that I already had in a pen, and so I didn't open this because I'll just leave it sealed. Uh, I think it won't evaporate nearly as much then either, is Tang Mei Se blue, which is actually a green and is a gorgeous green. And these are named after ceramics finishes, and uh, man... These are all kind of bangers, so uh, check these samples out over at Yoseka, and you can get the whole set. All these, this whole set was 28 bucks for each of these little uh, little bottles, and I dig it. Now, the one caveat with the bottle is I think they're a little bit difficult to fill a pen from, so you're going to want to use an eyedropper or uh, a syringe or something, I think, to fill your pens from, because these are pretty shallow little bottles, uh, and it might be kind of difficult to fill a pen from, but, man, the ink is great. Uh, I dig it. All right, so this has been, there you go, that's my haul. I think that's everything. Uh, it's all the things that were in the box, and I think that's all the things I was expecting. Uh, there you go, that's 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 all the things, you know? That's, that's it. I'm excited. I think this is a great haul of things. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked best and what you might be trying out down in the comments down there. And uh, hey, check the graph. If you aren't subscribed to the channel and you've made it this far, hey, subscribe to the channel for more of stuff like this because you like it, I like it, and, uh, you know, subscribe. It helps the channel and uh, lets you know when I have new stuff coming up. So hit that subscribe button uh, so we can make this graph go the other way. I would be, that would be pretty dope. All right, until next time, uh, that's it. Peace out.